Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So today we will start our chemistry new topic that is hybridization. First of all we will talk about C. Basically valency is a capacity. It is a capacity of an atom to combine with other. Basically, uh, valency is a capacity of an atom to combine with an other. So there are two types. One is hybridization, and second is electronic configuration. In hybrid, uh, in hybridization, hybridization. Second, we are having electronic configuration. Electronic configuration. These are two types. Talking about electronic configuration, it is discussed by here I would write at uh, by Hund's rule, okay, Hund's rule, and hybridization by Pauli's rule, by Pauli's exclusion, by Pauli's exclusion rule, okay. So these both are rules. These both rules are followed in electronic configuration by Hund's rule. What happened? Hund's rule success in all the things, but he failed to tell about the valence electron in beryllium, in bromine, and in oxygen. Then it told by hybridization method, like in beryllium. Beryllium having four electrons. Okay, so we are writing here four. Okay, now we are making its electronic configuration. Like we are making here one, one s. Two, then we are having two s two. Okay. So what it says after that we are having two p x. Then we are having two p y. Then we are having two p z. So it says that that it's having a zero valence electron. Like uh, its electronic configuration is zero. Okay. But according to Hund's, it was wrong. According to hybridization, it was wrong. Hund gave this one wrong theory. Same as in bromine, it says that in bromine we are having five electrons. Same here, like we are having five electron. So there is the same configuration. Let me make a configuration over, here. like copy it and then paste over here. Okay, like one s two, two s two. Now one is remaining. So two p x. Here we put the one just. Okay, one side electron is here. After that, what he said that he said that here is just one electron means one uh, configuration by Hund's rule. Like here he said zero, and here he said that there is one unpaired electron. But according to it, it was also wrong. But talking about oxygen, in oxygen he also said same thing. The not oxygen, sorry, it was carbon. In carbon, same thing. The carbon having a electron six. He again said the same thing, like one s two, two s two, two p x. So, what happened that it here the one one electron is just shared, like one electron here and one electron here. So it says that the uh, electronic configuration of carbon is two, but according to this. These all are wrong. So talking about hybridization by Pauli's exclusion, by Pauli's exclusion hybridization, it told that that hybridization means to mix up different to mix up just wait, to mix up different orbitals orbitals. With their shape and energy, okay. Likewise, we will take an example of one. Like we are having two atomic orbitals. Let me be. Like we are having two atomic orbitals. This is a s, s, and this is a p. These both are atomic orbitals. Okay. When it will hybridization, here we will be having s p both combined 
together okay so it is having a spherical shape is it is having a dumbbell shape it's having a lower energy it's having a higher energy so these are the difference in hybridization so how hybridization method happen like it taken it have taken the first one that name is uh, beryllium like in beryllium it is start the hybridization that according to Hund's rule it was wrong so it says that in beryllium we are in four electrons what uh, that name is same same as these electrons we will take up okay oh sorry just wait yeah so according to him likewise he also made the same thing okay but what he said he said that there will be the no hybridization in 1s2 and 2s2 because these both are from different orbitals how different orbitals like 1s2 is from k and this all are from l like this one and this one will do uh, uh, hybridization because of same orbits orbitals but this is a different so it will not uh, do anything so what happened here we put the heat over here here we did the heat reaction with heat reaction this 2s2 got excited and what it did that it gives it one electron to 2px so 2px with one electron after reaction what ha what happened that be beryllium was 1s2 2s2 2px1 this is also one it shared it got excited and it shared one electron to here so here 2p y and 2p z okay according to it it says that here is zero valence shell in beryllium but here what it says that 2s is also one when it excited and jump over 2px 2px is another so it says that there is a two valence Two a according to two electronic configuration, there are two valence electron in beryllium. How many electron? Two valence. So what names it have given? It have given uh, the names to the name of two s one was s p and two p x was also s p. These both made the s p s p bond because they both are uh, unpaired. So what happened? Their energy mix up both energy mix up both shapes mix up but the electrons remain electron will never mix up in orbital so what it did that the electrons come on the same position over behind it okay so according to Pauli's rule hybridization method beryllium having two valence shell so same in bromine and carbon like uh, likewise uh, let me make a carbon one leave bromine like in carbon there is the same thing happen one is one s2 after uh, heat reaction it will one s2 then it got so it got then two s2 okay then here 2px1 and 2py1 2pz is also there okay so 2px having two so it shared one electron with one more so it got that 2p z1 okay then what 2s1 after heat reaction here one so it means that x y z all our three are having unpaired are having valence electrons so it means carbon having three valence shell means three valence electrons so according to Hund's rule it says that it, there is a two but according to it it says here is a three so this one is correct so what name we will give to it like 2px it's coming on a third number so what we will give a name like s we will give a name sp3 here this one is also sp3 like these three all filled together x y z so we will give three if there will just two x and y so we will give sp2 like this simple method we understand about hybridization and valency of the electron with hybridization by Pauli's exclusion and electronic configuration by Hund's rule hope you understand today's lecture thank you so much for listening